Yeah, so it's uh, 3 December 2022 today. I'm on my way to the house. Uh, I have not been there all week. Um, the builder was uh, still finishing up another job, so I'm not quite sure how much work has been done. So I'll be there in a couple minutes. Just want to show this uh, our local Combini uh, convenience store, the Lawson's. And it's just a couple minutes from the house. I normally stop by there and uh, pick up a sandwich, some drinks before I head to the house. But I've been watching uh, this construction and I have no idea what it is. It seems like some sort of dam or something to do with water. I'm not sure, but quite impressive what they're doing. This is in the background over here is the town of Miwa. Um, beautiful mountain range. Over there we have uh, Homestock, which is uh, uh, like a DIY uh, type of uh, store, garden stuff. Our one gas station right across over there. Uh, where is that uh, interesting looking, uh, whatever bug is that, uh, it's where there's a really cool store where the local farmers bring their uh, vegetables and honey as well and local products and they, they, they drop it off and kind of like consignment, they sell it. Um, say for example, there's like potatoes they might be like five different potatoes and there's different the farmers names on the potatoes then they come the afternoon and they get their get the money for the potatoes and we bought honey local honey uh local watermelon uh all kinds of different vegetables they have there it's pretty cool okay so this is uh the town of miwa it's about 40 minutes or so from Miwakuni up in the mountains. Okay, so I just arrived to the house. Um, I have not walked inside yet, but just by looking, just by looking from the outside, uh, looks like uh, quite, a, quite a bit of uh, tearing down and whatnot has happened. Looking forward to looking inside. These guys are quick. They come in, there's only two guys for most of the time that I see. But they uh, come in and start working hard, nonstop. This, uh, we're gonna have the big windows here in the front, double pane windows, the door as well. There was that uh, little uh, awning that was right here in front of that window that has been removed. And upstairs as well. So let me go ahead and take a look inside and see what it looks like. Right, coming in through the entrance, the Ginkgo. Not much, not much difference here. And uh, as expected, it's a little bit cold. It is uh, first week of December, 2022. Um, last week was very, very nice weather. Unusual, unusually warm. So I'm not surprised that it finally got a little chilly. So this is the first time I've seen in here, my goodness. Yeah, so they, <laughs> they have torn down this place. There's no going back now for sure. Um, watch out for nails. So yeah, so right here is where the living room will be. The living room, and it will obviously extend all the way to that wall. The corners where we expect to have the wood fireplace. Watch, watch my step here. Make sure I don't step in on any nails. 
Wow, they are really tearing down this place. Um, look up here, see if there's any water leaks. I don't see any. Wow, that's a very impressive wood beam right there. Again, I don't know how much of that would be exposed, but you know, I uh, we want as much uh, wood beams and whatnot to be exposed if all possible. Kind of looking around, see if there's any kind of water damage. It's another nice, long, beautiful beam there. It goes all along the house. All the electrical is going to be done as well. Everything is going to, going to be re-insulated with the shikui. Wall plaster, which is the uh, natural plaster, Japanese plaster. Right here is where the uh, walk-in closet is going to be. Behind that wall, this side is going to be opened. Last time when I was uh, talking to the workers, they were saying that this house was uh, very well built and uh, and it's difficult to tear apart. So hopefully that's true. Let's go into where the kitchen is. Well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, right there is where the pantry will be on the left. The kitchen is still, still there. They haven't removed it yet. Again, all the electrical is going to be redone. Again, definitely no going back now. Hopefully um, this turns out to be a nice home. We're starting to see right here is where it will be all open. So we still, they still need to remove these pillars and that, that wall, that section right there. But um, as we can see, it's going to be quite open and looking outwards. So that's nice. Let's take a little stroll upstairs real quick, see how that looks. Whoa, what is that? Oh, okay, they're, they're using that thing. They're using that as a chute to uh, uh, run all the rubbish down down the roof into their truck. Whoa, okay, they don't fall down here. <laughs> I see a hole over there and then where the closet is at. You know, these beams here will be exposed. That beam Chuck and I were talking yesterday about where would we put the fan. So maybe I'm thinking because this is going to be a reinforced, so maybe right here, right here in the middle. Where the fan would be. Yeah, I see it. I see a big hole over there under the under the closet. Well where the closet used to be. So I watch my step there. Again, more, more beams. Wow. These guys uh, really got to work. It looks like over there we had another uh, beehive, whatever. Right there. That corner, and there was another one on the other far corner. And they're quite big, so they're probably living there for a while. I don't think they were living here now, but wow. 
kind of curious where this is going down to. I don't know. We'll find out later. Okay, well, that's uh, 3 December 2022 progress. Shooting for having this done by May or so. Let's see. All right, that's it for now.